I'm Tanya Ganassini, a local chef here in Niagara. And today, I'm checking out three very impressive wineries who all put their Niagara spin on classic French winemaking. Both educational and delicious, these are must visits for all wine lovers. This is my Niagara. We're going to try from one-year-old barrels, so barrels that have been used for years. So they're not imparting too much flavor. We want the barrel to be fairly neutral in this so that we can really see about the vineyard and the terroir. I thought it's only fair now to give you a finished wine to taste. This is the 2017 Cherry Ave Pinot. We have what Burgundy has in spades. We have so much limestone, wonderful slope, the Great Lakes giving us this moderate climate, and we can make wines as good as Burgundy. I almost didn't think it could get better when we tasted it in the barrel. It did. This tasting in the cellar of Taz has turned me from a white wine drinker into a red wine drinker. It's completely opened my eyes to how the terroir or the environment around us can impact the final product of a wine. This is a place you have to visit, and if you get to experience something like this, you should consider yourself very, very lucky. All right, so we just finished up at Taz, which is a world-class winery. I had such a good time here. Now we're headed down the road to Domaine Caylus to do a blind tasting, which is a first for me. Okay, so Kelly, the lovely winemaker here, is about to start me on a blind tasting. Unlike anything I've ever done before, this is a rare glimpse into the winemaking process. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna start with these three Pinot Noirs that we make. We make a tradition, a reserve, and a grand reserve. So you've got the wine poured right behind you, the bottles in front, so you know exactly which wine is which. But what we have is the outlier, the one that you're gonna try and guess. This is the next vintage, because right now we're in the middle of bottling. So we've already blended one of these three wines for 2019. These are all 2018s. So you're gonna taste that one, and you're gonna tell us that wine is closest to number one, number two, or number three. I'm about to taste the mystery wine, and I've, I've never felt like the stakes were higher ever before in my life. <laughs> this is why I'm not a winemaker. <laughs> Our first sample. So Kelly gave me a behind the scenes look into how she blends her wines. So this is a 50-50 blend of Merlot and Cab Franc that we extracted from the barrels, from 56 barrels, we extracted the best of the best, and this is gonna be the 2019 vintage of their Bordeaux wine. If you're looking for a winery that's off the beaten path, Domaine Caylus is a total hidden gem. The wines are elevated and the staff are really down to earth. And now we're off to our final stop, which is Westcott Vineyards, for more food and drink, so let's go. Hi. Hello! Hi. I'm great, how are you guys? Welcome to Westcott. So I've been invited to sit down for dinner with chefs Ricky and Olivia, who are busy cooking up some of their spring menu dishes, and I think it's just about ready. We have a couple of our classics. We have our tartar. This one is a little bit of a play on a Big Mac, so very fun. We have our baked brie that is done over the wood fire. And then we have our smoked trout niçoise salad. We always have a deviled eggs on the menu. There's just such a fun snack. Okay, so the first thing I'm trying is the fire baked brie with cranberry compote on their fresh baked challah. And we're trying it with temperance, which is a gamay Pinot Noir blend. I like that with the smokiness of the cheese as well. I probably wouldn't have thought to put those two together, but. Mm -hmm. 
Well, today was a magical day filled with great wine, great food, and it was all made by people who care so much about what they do. I hope you get to experience what I experienced today. My name is Tanya Ganassini, and this is my Niagara.